The first time in over three years, uh, officially El Nino has uh, developed down in the Pacific. We always watch El Nino and La Nina based on how they affect our hurricane season. And typically what happens is El Nino suppresses our hurricane season thanks to wind shear. Now there's a caveat this year, and it's the fact that the Atlantic is boiling hot. It's running at record warmth right now, and there's some uncertainty between, well, is El Nino going to win out and suppress hurricane season? or is the warm Atlantic going to overcome that? It's not very often we've seen things like this happen. It's happened a couple times previously, but there is some uncertainty there. So we're rooting for El Nino, okay? That's the one we want to win. Now, why does El Nino suppress the season? Well, you usually get more showers and storms forming out here in the Pacific, and that air rises and it has to fall somewhere. So you have a lot of sinking air over the Atlantic, the jet stream stronger, and all that sinking air usually suppresses. That's when the Atlantic is not hot. When the Atlantic's hot, it may be over to overcome that suppressed phase there. So that's what we're kind of hung up on at this point on. Well, we'll see. Most places are, um, forecasters are calling for an average season, but there is still some uncertainty there. So nothing out there to worry about right now, but El Nino, it's here. We're rooting for it. There's your seven day forecast. It is